what's up guys it's jack from zhx minecraft is here with a mod installation tutorial this one being the almighty red power yeah um and in traditional style i'm going to um force update i've already backed up my minecraft guys so you should do it right now whilst i'm updating and i'm going to give you some information. Okay, I'm going to put this folder on Dropbox. It contains everything you need, all the red powers, and like too many items, mod loader and forge. I put too many items in there as a uh, you know just an optional extra, just in case you want it. Um, I would advise it, but you don't need to. And if you decide to quit the video. There is a nice little readme, but stay for the net file thing. And then RP is the red power files. Um, it's way more different than it like used to be. She's added way more stuff. Um, Ilaram, I mean, has added way more stuff into this absolutely awesome source mod. And. Uh, I will provide links in the description for those who want to do it manually, but for those of you who want to do it nice and easy, I have put that little thing together for you. I'm not allowed to upload my whole Minecraft file because if you have a client, you can use my name because I have it saved into it. Or, yeah. So, as you can see, it's backed up. So, we're just going to go quit game. And then we're going to go to our folder. Then we're going to go to library. Then the application support then minecraft then bin now you get all these files but you want minecraft.jar you right click um, I'm going to use the unarchiver guys it's free it's brilliant it's amazing um, but most do have archive utility so you know you can use that it's quite fast and you just want to rename this actual jar file most people throw it away but I find it's easier to just add like an E at the end and then uh, so when you update you can just go because you have to change the file, so you just go like that, and uh, yeah. But you want to rename this folder to Minecraft.jar, and then it won't have any like confliction stuff. Then add now. If you double click in this, go to this little cogwheel here, arrange by kind, it should uh, bring up all these folders. Thank you, um, Liam, for telling me that. That is an absolutely awesome tip. Now, uh, Mater Inf is the easiest to find here. You've got to delete it. Just move it to the trash. Right now. Do now. Do now. Okay. Uh, so now, if you go to the uh, Red Power files, then go to Place in Minecraft.jar. You want to go to Mod Loader. Then you want to hit. Then you want to hold Command A. Keep holding Command C, and then keep holding Command V, and just tick Apply to All down here. Right there. And then just go to replace. Now, um, if I were you, I would boot up after every mod you installed. Otherwise, they will clash and it will ruin and crash your Minecraft. And then I'll get like a million comments going, Oh my god, you crashed my Minecraft. Why did you do that? And as you can see, it's still working. So now we are going to go to Forge. And now, here's the hard part. Right. Um, hold command A, then keep holding command and press on the net to deselect it. Then command C, command V to copy and paste it. Apply to all, replace. Then you want to go to net, and on here you go to net in the Minecraft jar, obviously. Then go to Minecraft, um, and then client in the dot jar, and then Minecraft, and then client in um, the forge. Then you just want to highlight them both, copy and paste. Don't replace the whole client folder because it seemed to just crash me last time. But that's the job because it's got ISOM as well. And you just don't want to touch any of that stuff. Okay, right. Uh, boot up again. Just, just, if I were you, I would boot up. Because uh, it's just so you can check on whether your stuff works. The next thing I'm going to install is too many items for those of you that don't know how to do that. But if you do, you can just skip this part. You just command A, command C, 
come on V, that's easy as guys. That's, that's literally it to uh, install too many items. It doesn't even matter where the PNG goes or anything. It's just such a good mod as well because uh, I will show you some stuff. And this is going to be a mini series, guys, So uh, because there's so much stuff to do. Okay. Now, uh, where it says place more place in mods as the dot zip. If we go to our main Minecraft file and you kept booting up, you should now have these files, mainly mod load, mod loaded and mods. You just want to click on mods, then go to my folder that I made. First thing you want to copy in is core, and then you can copy the rest in like that. As you can see, everything everything's in and working. Um, now this is literally like the easiest part of the whole thing you're literally just copying files see look works perfectly and then if we go to single player here's how to back it up All right, as you can see I've had red power stuff before I had it on earlier and I will show you how to do cool stuff with computers those are frames and I will show you how to use that stuff if we wait for this to go, as you can see, we've got 13 pages, all the different wires and covers, all the buttons and stuff, and the panel corners. Panel corners are cool. They're like cloth line tuning stuff. See, look. It's like, eh, yeah, yeah. Look at me. I'm a panel corner. I'm classy. But, yeah, <laughs> thank you very much for watching, guys. Um... If you like my tutorials, just please tell me because I don't I like positive feedback and I don't I'm not a fan of negative feedback because I don't like being negative. Negative negative is boring. I mean, isn't it? That doesn't everyone hate negative people? I hate negative people. But yeah, let's let's not get into a discussion about how I don't like negative people. So thank you very much for watching guys and I will leave you with a hint. Bundled cable. <laughs> Alright, so I'll see you later, guys. Thank you very much for watching.